Hey everybody, this is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk to you about my veneer pump and my veneer bag and my whole veneer system because it really, really sucks. All right, y'all, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that um, uh, we do a lot of stuff with the vacuum pump and uh, we recently got a new one and a couple of people have asked me what it is, where I got it, etc., etc. So I just wanted to... Um, do a quick video and tell you guys a little bit about it and a little bit of a backstory about a different pump that we wanted uh, to get that we ended up not getting. But um, first, let's uh, let's have a look. This is a, um, a Firebird body that I am doing, and uh, we are going to pull it out of the bag here. And it is a uh, it is a piece of swamp ash for the back with a piece of roasted swamp ash for the top. Now, you can see how the back, or the, the top rather, is oversized because, um, well, it just is. So anyway, you'll see a little bit more about this guitar in future videos, but uh, let's talk a little bit about the vacuum system that we have here, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, our previous vacuum pump was a unit that you could buy off of like eBay. It was for uh, refrigerant for uh, cars and that kind of thing. Now that pump was not an oilless unit like the one that we have here. Um, and like I said, it worked okay. It actually kind of stopped working um, and we needed to buy a new one. So we went in search of the coolest vacuum uh, accessories that we could get. Our vacuum bag is, is perfectly acceptable. Um, and the hoses that we had with the, um, the eBay pump were fine with a couple of uh, fittings. We were able to retro, retrofit that to our bag and the various pumps that we used. So I started looking around and um, one of the places that we had gone to before was a company called Veneer Supplies. And um, I, I found some, some gear that they had and you know, in fact, this, this original bag that, uh, that we still use today came from Veneer Supplies. And we bought a bunch of veneers from veneer supplies, but I can no longer recommend them because when it was all said and done, I was ready to click the buy now thing. Um, uh, lo and behold, they won't ship to Colorado for some reason. So, I, well, if you can't ship to me, then I can't buy from you. So I dug a little deeper and I found another company that has this little pump here that uh, has actually been working great for us. So this pump is from a company called QVP, Quality Vacuuming Products, and this is the lowest price little, little you know, veneer setup pump that they have. It's an oilless pump, um, comes with a one-year warranty. It's, uh, for everything we do, it's great. Um, it really, really sucks. <laughs> um, uh, so, you know, you don't really need a whole lot to do guitar tops. I would suppose if you're doing furniture or surfboards or skateboard where you really want to bend and manipulate material, you might need a more powerful pump. For putting a top on though, this works great. Um, and especially veneers, even if you have to bend it over uh, you know, a contour or a carved top, this would, do, this would do just fine. In fact, it's such a great pump for guitar uh, uses that uh, this is the same unit that they sell at Luthier's Mercantile. So if you happen to go on Luthier's Mercantile, uh, this is the pump that they sell too. Or you can go through QVP. I don't know if there's a price difference or not. I went direct through QVP and found out through those guys that they also have it at LMI. So let me show you a little bit about what you get. So, um, well, you get this pump and you get a little gauge and you get this little um, uh, air air cleaner filter thing. Uh, you will need to provide some sort of a hose, although it comes with some of that stuff. Um, and if you buy the kit, you can get it with a bag, too. Um, so, really, it's, it's a great way to inexpensively get into veneering. Um, but we've also discovered that, you know, like, like this top, for example, is right at about a quarter of an inch. It works great for that because, you know, we don't want to have a bunch of clamping calls for a guitar we're going to make one of. So, you, you, you get the things that you want to hold together, and I tape them in place because it keeps it from wiggling when the glue's on because I still have to get it in the bag, you know what I mean? Um, so I tape it in place and then I put it in the bag, slide it in, turn the pump on, it sucks all the air out and it sucks it right down. It is a fantastic way to, um, to glue tops to backs. So um, if you guys have any questions about any of the products that we use, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm gonna leave a link to QVP 
to this pump here. And if you guys want to go check those dudes out, let them know that the guys from Texas Toe sent you over. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you appreciate content like this, you might go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you cool stuff like this and tell you about products that you might want to check out. If you can't do Patreon, we totally understand uh, what you can do above and beyond that that could really help us grow the channel is share this video as many places as you can and uh, check out our industry partners. Um, there's even some discount codes below to our industry partners in the description. So go check those guys out and show them some love. Um, if you guys would like to uh, have any interest in becoming an industry partner, please let me know. Um, so uh, until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh,